Hello everyone, Marco is here again with another update for Terrain Mixer. Uh, I think you'll like this one because it's uh, related to the masking. As you already know, we have masking already included in the uh, inside of the tool, but uh, this is a bit more advanced and maybe even uh, easier to use. So uh, before we continue, I just want to say that this and every other update uh, is absolutely free for the for all the Bunica network uh, members with uh, uh, blue membership and alpha membership and uh, you can also of course purchase it from Gumroad or Blender Market so let's continue now if I go to this new workspace called Terrain Mixer Plus uh, Mask Geo Notes you will see that uh, we have some uh, new windows added uh, here and this is just as uh, what you had uh, here in the Terrain Mixer Plus Nodes uh, workspace it's the same node tree uh, with the difference that we also have the geometry nodes here very simple setup and now uh, if we plug this new option mask geo here you will see that something happens uh, i'll do it again so you see here we have this canyon and uh, this canyon is not defined uh, by the old masking uh, we did some tutorials on that it's defined by the uh, geometry uh, that we have here in this uh, in this new uh, collection so if I enable it you will see the geometry we have let me just expose this and I'll turn off these two uh, let's say that their name mask sphere and mask plane like so so we just uh, have this one now uh, some of you may already recognize that this is just a curve uh, and uh, we have the basic uh, uh, geometry uh, that follows the curve so this is it mass curve geo this is the geometry and this is the curve and if we tab you see that you can see the the, the geometry that follows the curve because we're in edit mode of course uh, what we can also do we can enable this uh, geometry so for example if I would go to the one of these polygons here for example this one and if I extrude it you see that it affects the terrain. I can also extrude it in this direction. No. This direction. And it affects the terrain. What you can also do, you can add, for example, two slices here. And then select the polygon extruded and do something like this now if we rotate on the axis this whole object you see how it affects the terrain now you will notice that uh, some some of the terrain uh, some of these uh, hills and mountains are uh, deforming while uh, some other parts of it are not uh, changing at all so we're actually revealing with this mask we're revealing uh, uh, parts of the terrain that are beneath uh, this uh, this terrain so and uh, why is it behaving like that well let's let me just uh, undo this Uh, the reason why it's uh, behaving like this is the fact that you're actually using uh, 
for this uh, uh, mask geo uh, source, you're using one of the height map sources. So it, it can be any of, of these here. So for example, I can use this one. You see, I can use input three. I can use uh, height map five or height map six. And uh, what is cool about this uh, approach is that, for example, if you use input four here, and uh, in the properties, you decide that uh, your terrain, which is not affected by the mask, uh, will be more towards uh, input uh, inputs uh, one and two. So if we adjust this mix, this, this mix, mix towards uh, zero, let's see. Now we now we have the mix uh, between uh, inputs uh, one and two. And uh, for the mask, we can still adjust the input four. So, for example, let's let's do something like this. So you see how it's changing. And for and if if you would if you would just choose height map 7 or height map 8, which defined the input 4, uh, you wouldn't be able to, you know, affect it. It's like a static value. So this is uh, what's cool about it. Now, you are not limited only to uh, curves. And uh, before I switch to another object, another geometry, I just want to let you know that uh, you can you can also edit the curve. So, for example, if you would select the mask curve one here, and then press tab, you're in the edit mode. So let's press seven to go to the top view. You can also, for example rotate this vertice, you see, and this is how you affect the curve. Now I suggest that you only edit the curve in the edit mode, don't select it as an object and move it around, uh, for that you would want to pick this mass curve geo, and there's a good reason for that. All of you who worked with array, arrays and uh, know how they behave, and especially if the, uh, they're defined uh, by the curve, you know how strange uh, things can become uh, very easily. So just if you want to move the object, move this one, uh, and the curve is the child of this uh, mass curve geo, so it makes sense. Uh, so you can also move curve up and down of course let's see and you can also uh, subdivide the curve so for example if you would subdivide it you can select the central point and make something like this you can just uh, turn off the overlay so you can see it better so you see You will also find uh, let me just this. Uh, you will also find uh, if you select the terrain, you will also find uh, these options here. If you look for mask geo blend and mask geo power, you can change the blending modes. So you see. It's different. So you can change the blending modes. Of course, there are 17 of them or 18. And you can also change the power. Like this. Let me 
just reset it to default value, which is zero. Now, if you go to this simple uh, setup for uh, the geometry nodes, you can change the source, the masking source, the geometry that uh, is used for masks. So for example, you can go here and just look for those that are named mask. Uh, don't pick the curve one because uh, it won't do much. So you have this tree for now. You can create your own, of course. So for example, if we choose this one and if we make it uh, visible, make this one invisible, you can do this. So for example, just press G to move. So you see how it affects the terrain. Same thing with the uh, plane. It's a bit different effect, but let me just make it visible and then make this one invisible. So we have plane, and you can go up and down with it. You can rotate it, for example, on the y axis. So one other thing that's uh, also useful, uh, which I, uh, the thing that I like to use is if I enable the overlays, I can see the mesh and if I go into the edit mode and for example press, uh, let me just select uh, edges and alt click, I can also enable uh, the, the proportional editing and if I see I can do this so this is really really uh, helpful and gives you a lot of control uh, when working with the terrain mixer I hope you like it it will be available in a few days uh, you can get the terrain mixer already and then download it uh, when it's available or you know just uh, look for it on I don't know, like Thursday maybe Friday and a uh, new version 1.9.8 uh, should be available I hope you like it uh, cheers talk soon